Now, I talked about the Colin Kaepernick situation here, and it surprised me because I think the Players Association was a month away from actually starting this trial. This was separate from the NFL Players Association. So this is Colin Kaepernick with his attorney, his lawyer, Mark Garagos. They're the ones that went out and made this settlement with the NFL. And I'm thinking, and this is what I was told, what were the chances of Colin Kaepernick winning this collusion case against the NFL? I was told less than 0%. That's how much of a chance he had. Less than 0% of winning this because there was no evidence. The part of this that was surprising to one of the sources I spoke to was, why wouldn't you still go through this and depose? If your mission is to have this crusade and stand up to the NFL and fight them, why wouldn't you go through with this? It's not about the money. It shouldn't be about the money. But was it about the money if you settled? Why not depose the commissioner? You at least get the commissioner. I get an owner. I get an owner, Jerry Jones. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm going to match what you say to what you say to what you say. Because this might not help you, but it's going to help others down the road. I was also told that settlement of maybe 60 to $70 million, greatly exaggerated. And one of my sources said, I wouldn't be surprised if it's less than $5 million in a donation to Colin Kaepernick's charity. So there's, there's a lot of speculation out there, but one of the sources I spoke to was so surprised that Kaepernick and his attorney settled. Now, also the possibility of him playing again in the NFL. And I said, can you put that in this agreement? And he said, you could have in a wink and a nod or a handshake, but you know, to say the Panthers are going to bring him in because Eric Reed is there, one of my sources said, doesn't see that happening. And also Robert Kraft to go to the Patriots. So do you want that with the Patriots? Robert Kraft is a supporter of Donald Trump. I know that there are social issues that uh, Robert Kraft uh, probably doesn't align with the president on. Um, but that I was told that couldn't see either one of those scenarios. So which owner, which fan base would be more accepting of Colin Kaepernick? And the other thing that surprised me, one of the sources said Kaepernick it, wants to start. But is he going to start? Where is he going to start? And, if, and he's not the typical backup quarterback because the backup quarterback is basically a quarterback's coach slash offensive coordinator, clipboard guy, does all the dirty work, looks at film, helps out the starting quarterback. Colin Kaepernick is not that guy. So you can, and, and the team that I was told with Kaepernick is Seattle. And I said, I can't see that with Seattle, not with Russell Wilson. Because Cap probably thinks he's just as good as Russell Wilson or they're similar age. And he's going to want to go in there and play. You can't see that happening. And you just had a divisive locker room. The last thing you want in Seattle is something like that. And you have Paul Allen who uh, passed away. So you have like new ownership coming in there. So there's a, there was a lot of stuff that I was trying to sort through with Colin Kaepernick. And it, I still came back to why would you settle? Why not fight them? And, you know, if you're going to look at his age and say, all right, you're 31, if you got 50 to 60 or $70 million, good for you. But if you still want to play, I just don't think a team's going to take him. But if that's the money you got, you know, good for you if you feel like that was worth the fight here. But I was told less than 0%. Ka Kaepernick's attorney knew this, that there was less than 0% they were going to win this. So do you settle? Take the offer. Everybody saves face. The owners were worried about this. Discovery. What was going to be brought out? If you depose somebody, what is going to be brought out there? Do you actually think there's an email from one owner to another owner saying, you know, I'm not going to take him. Are you going to take him? And that's what I was told. One of the sources said there was no evidence. There was no hard evidence. Yes. Yeah, so that... If the real fear, because my, my question the whole time was, why would the NFL settle? Like, if you just said there was less than 0% chance they would lose this case, yeah. then why would they settle? If the price 
is not being deposed and keeping all of that privacy, then that 60 to 70 million number sounds about right. That's what I thought. It, that would jump up. How much is your privacy worth if you're a billionaire owner? Yes. I bet it's a hell of a lot of money. There, there's a lot of questions. It's the answers don't match up with the questions. That, that's what I said to one of my sources. I said, this doesn't make sense. And he said, exactly. I was told the Players Association was shocked when they, because they were ready to go to court. Like, we, we hadn't heard any rumors of this. Everybody was sort of run silent, run deep here. And then all of a sudden it came out, and I guess the Players Association was like, wait a minute, we, we're preparing to go to trial. And then they settled. Yeah, Paul. Do you think the NFL looked at it and said, look at this past NFL season. It, Kaepernick was not a topic. The anthem was not a topic. Ratings were fantastic. It was all about football and said, all right, let's make this actually go away forever now because with non-disclosures, there's not much more to it. And said, like, we'll write the big check, put it to bed, move on to the offseason. People sign them. They don't, whatever. Uh, they may say, we, we got away from this topic. Why drag it out anymore and let it rear its ugly head? Because it's not good for business. I agree with all of those points here, but I do think the information eventually gets out of what he got. And can you imagine if he only got $5 million in a, in a donation to his charity? What are people going to think then about this? Because I think the, the, the viewpoint is that Kaepernick won. And one of my sources said, no, he didn't win. You would have won if you would have gone after the NFL to prove that your crusade, your cause, is to go after the NFL instead of just settling. I said, well, if you can still get 60 to $70 million, and then I was told it's not 60 to $70 million. I think, I think people are really going to be surprised when that final number comes in. I said, all right, yes, you. It seems to me like people have lost sight of what Colin Kaepernick was actually doing. His whole mission wasn't to go after the NFL and take them down. And that, I mean, that's not why he started kneeling. This is, we're further down the road than that. So the idea that he gave up on his mission to take down the NFL and why isn't he going after them and uncovering all these secrets, that to me sounds more like what the media wanted to have happen rather than what his interests are. But you have to take down the NFL if you're going to prove collusion. You can't have both. I mean, or can't have one and not have the other. He, he, to prove collusion, I have to take you down. I have to go to trial. I have to depose the commissioner. But settling is, is seen as an admission of guilt. Yes. So he won. Let's see what he got. Let's see if he plays again. They settled. They did. But, I, I, but, he, he could get $1 or a billion dollars. They settled. They were like, we don't want to go any further with this. All right, fine. Let's settle. The USFL won $3 when they took the NFL to court. But the USFL didn't win, even though they won the trial. They won $1, they trebled it to three. That was it. So I don't, it, you know, from the outside, it, Colin Kaepernick still wants to play. He's probably not going to play. Uh, from the outside, did he get 60 to $70 million, or did he get three to $5 million? So that's where I'm going to look at, if we're going to say who won and who lost, I'd, I'd like to know if he gets to play again, and I'd like to know what the numbers are. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.